God says, Please understand that I hear all of your prayers. Just because you don't receive everything that you ask for, doesn't mean that hell don't listen. It means that I have something far better in store for you. Amen if you believe in God. Dear God, I am grateful for the promise that I can cast my burdens upon you, knowing that you will sustain me and uphold me. I come to you with the burdens that have weighed heavy on my heart. You know my worries, my fears, and the anxieties that have been troubling me. I cast them upon you, for you are the source of my strength and refuge. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I read the Bible today, I pray that you would speak to me through your word. Illuminate your word and what you want to teach me through this time together so I am able to comprehend and understand it. Please reveal anything you want me to know today. Please give me an open mind, an open heart, and open ears in order to hear from you. Thank you for your word and everything that I can gain from it. Amen. You need to realize that no matter how hard it gets or how far you get from God, He is always right there waiting for you with open arms and will always be there for you with love that nothing else compares to. Don't let your sins define you, God forgives you and He misses you. Lord, thank you for giving this blessed day to me. Thank you for your love and the gift of life. My only request to you today, Lord, is to keep my family safe and healthy always. Cover us with your white light of protection and let no harm fall upon us. In Jesus' name. If God has helped you in your life, declare Amen. Lord, thank you. Those who wished for your demise have been let down by the Almighty. Their expected celebration has been cancelled indefinitely. Remember, you will not pass before your time. All thanks to God. Respond Amen somebody. Society has fooled us into thinking that instant gratification is the way the world works. That big things come overnight, that dreams are achieved all at once. But good things take time, patience and consistency. And good things will always come when you least expect them, when you deserve them most. So keep going, because time and the universe are on your side. Everything is happening for you exactly as it's supposed to. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 12:2 Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you, he will never permit the righteous to be moved. Psalm 55 hours 22 minutes. Jesus was just as human as we are, he still felt every emotion we did. Jesus experienced what it was like to be hurt and emotionally in pain. Trust that Jesus knows what you're walking through and believe that he is walking with you the whole way. John 11:35. Jesus wept, reply Amen. Give, and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full pressed hands shaken together to make room for more, running over, and poured into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. Luke 6:38. Dear God, thank you for your unending love and mercy. Please forgive me if any sin or wrongdoing I may have done towards you or others. Help me to live according to your word. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Psalms 27 colon 13 14 NIV 1 Corinthians 10 13 The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. Type Amen. You shall be secure, because there is hope. Yes, you shall search, and shall take your rest in safety. Also you shall lie down, and no one shall make you afraid. Yes, many shall court your favor. But the eyes of the wicked shall fail. They shall have no way to flee. Their hope shall be the giving up of the Spirit, Job 11 colon 18 20. Heavenly Father, as we start this new day, we come before you with grateful hearts. We thank you for the gift of life and the opportunities that today holds. We humble ask for your guidance and wisdom as we face the challenges and decisions of this day. Lord, we entrust this day into your hands, knowing that with you, it can be a day filled with purpose and joy. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 colon 38 39 For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God didn't send his Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world should be saved through him. John 3 colon 16 17 1 Peter 2 24 He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness, by his wounds you have been healed. I have been saved not because of anything I have done, but because of his grace and his love. He chose me. He still chooses me. He will choose me again and again. I pray and declare by faith this week is going to be amazing for you. Pray, have faith and stay positive your situation is about to change. God is going to bless you this week. In Jesus' name. If you receive it, type Lord, I trust you. Amen. Isaiah 43 colon 2 When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, the flames will not set you ablaze. Sometimes my conversations with God are about serious matters and big convictions. And other times, they are just about my day and my personal life, and my dreams for the future, and all kinds of ordinary things like the weather. What's amazing is how he always listens so attentively. And I think that's the way prayer really ought to be. Like chatting with a good friend. Heavenly Father, I feel overwhelmed by the uncertainty of the future. Your word reminds me not to fear because you are with me, and you strengthen me. I surrender my anxiety to you, trusting that you will uphold me. In Jesus' name, Amen. 
Isaiah 41 hours 10 minutes. Ecclesiastes 12, 1 Don't let the excitement of youth cause you to forget your Creator. Honor Him in your youth before you grow old and say, Life is not pleasant anymore. For it is better, if God should do it, that you suffer for doing what is right rather than doing what is wrong. 1 Peter 3:17. John 12:35. Then Jesus told them, You are going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, before darkness overtakes you. People pleasing our idols. Your aim is to rely on God that human approval is appreciated but not vital. True freedom and authenticity begin by turning away from the idolization of people, enabling you to genuinely love and serve them. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that today will be a day that is led by your Spirit. Forgive me if I have sinned against you or have done anything to hurt others. Please watch over and protect all of my loved ones and help them to draw closer to you each day. May you provide me with wisdom so that I can make the right choices that will glorify you. In Jesus' name, Amen if you need God, declare Amen. God knows this season has been more rain than sunshine and that you're wondering why he is allowing it to be so hard. He knows you're overwhelmed and feels so very overlooked. But remember, nothing grows in sunshine alone. Every season matters. He is growing something beautiful through it all. Keep trusting Him.